Hello guys, welcome back to Let's Play Borderlands. This part we're going to be doing, actually we're doing Dr. Ne the Zombie Island of Dr. Ned. Why we're in, in the Arid Badlands, I do not know. Um, I think there will be a cutscene right away when you get into Jacob's Cove, so I'm going to mute my mic. And yeah... The Zombie Island of Dr. Ned. It was a dark and stormy night. Sheesh. On a distant corner of Pandora, where few men dare to tread. With the journey to find the elusive vault behind them, a fearless adventurer set off into the trees of... What's a tree? Oh, for the angel's sake! It's a plant that grows out of the ground really tall. Like this? No more interruptions. <clears throat> so, they set out into the trees of Jacob's Cove, a land very much ravaged and forgotten by time. It was here that the scientist Dr. Nate, who is totally not Dr. Z from the last story at all, tried to help all of mankind. But ultimately, caused very bad shit. That's a swear! Dude made zombies, okay? You're not the police of me. Pay attention. Okay. So some bad crap was happening. And it got really spooky. And this is when our story begins. Is any of this going to be true? Yes. Probably a lot of it. You're adopted. <laughs> you gotta fucking love Marcus. You're adopted. Okay. Um. Yeah. So. Oh yeah. For. Um. Use fire wane or whatever uh, your incendiary damage because zombies are weak to it. Hey. Mr. Zombie I'm not fodder, bitch. I am not affiliated with the Jacobs Corporation. Hmm? But they packed me to tell people like you. That they would appreciate some assistance with the overwhelming what? situation. What? With the living impaired. I should warn you, though, that they'll suck your brain out of your cranial cavity like a crappuccino <laughs> if you get too close. If you'd still like to help, I suggest you turn on the town's defenses. Okay. Otherwise, crappuccino. Toodles! Um, now this claptrap fucking is annoying as fuck. Basically, he goes in there and. Hey, there's some ammo pa packets. This DLC is amazing. I love it. Uh, probably my second favorite. Now you'll start seeing zombies uh, soon. They're just their normal zombies selves, like in real life. Except when they get hit, they well, they're powerful when they, you, they hit you. And then you'll meet another type of zombie. I can't remember the name of it, but if you headshot a zombie, then it pops out brain, which is important for like a side mission, I guess, and it's also important for achievement. See? Well, you just have to get a critical. And this is the defilers. Um, if they spit on you, you they you fucking get slow, slow. It's unbelievable. Um, I won't be doing. Actually, you know what? I might do that, uh, cause why not? See this? Well, I... oh, I'll be doing it off screen, I guess, because it's fucking long. Basically, you'll take a whole part just to complete it. Boom. I uh, do not pick those brains. You you will want to come back here later, though. Basically, what the side missions is, it does is. That it takes fucking forever, it's unbelievable. But it involves a character from the plain base game. I know I'm saying unbelievable, but well. 
I would rather be dead, please live by example. This uh, DLC, I'll think it'll be about 5 to 10 parts because it's not really long, but it's kind of long. I'll show the location of the mission, by the way. Hey, there's that pussy claptrop. So it got here, huh? I think there's... Nope. Not work. Does not work the trick. Basically, you have to click E on those turrets and you'll get it calibrated. This is a mission story. Fuck you, die filers. Yeah, um, the weapons they're most resistant from is... Fuck, how am I missing from a standing still anything? Okay, the only skills you will want to use for these enemies is explosive and fire because they're strong against corrosive. Because, you know, they're zombies and they're dead. Stop grinding and get those turrets up and running. Grinding's awesome though. No shit he does. Wow, slow ass. Come on, come on, fuck, fuck, fuck. Help, help! Yay, sweet. This DLC, I'll be giving my review at the end of it. Hey, hey. Whoa. And there's a rocket launcher. Wow, that's not good, I guess. Not the best, but well. I'm still using the scavenger class mod because, well, just having a second class mod around is good. So we talk to this clap job and his doctor in. The town should be safe for now. Yes. But if you're really going to solve the zombie infestation, you're gonna need to talk to Dr. Ned. Yep, I will have to. trying to fix the problem, and I'm sure he could use a hand. You'll find him at his office down on the dock. Okay. I'll open the waterfront gate so you can be on your way. Let's go! Okay, now you're talking nice to me. This DLC takes, I'm guessing, place after TK Baja is dead because he's in this DLC. Really too bad that another poor adventurer is going to be zombie food. Adventurer, not adventure. And, oh, oh, you know the drill. So long, fearless traveler. Enjoy your stay at Jacob's Cove. <laughs> okay. Okay, just checking my mic is recording. Yeah, we opened the gate, and hey, doctor, it's a doctor. What, Doctor Ned? Yeah, I hope it's at least better. Fuck no. Back in never. Hmm, where is he? Oh, we have to contact this. Basically, he's like, screw this. And fuck, stop hitting me, you motherfucker, corpse eaters. Oh fuck, fuck. <coughs> oh sweet, 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 sweet. Oh fuck, 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 fuck. Thank you, Gat Gatling turret. No looks. Someone told me, well, not in comments, but someone had the strategy that something. Ooh, missing Hank Rice, Reese or whatever. Rice. A excellent opportunity. Marcos. Reference. Haha. And then there's Pumpkinhead. We have to fight a boss with that sub boss, I guess. Now we're gonna do actually do the Hank Reese one, the rest one, whatever. And it's not hard. They're basically echo recordings. Hey. Dearest Anna. Who's I've Anna? arrived at Jacob's Cove. And you'll be pleased to know it mm. takes a jolly and lively old really? town. I know being away from you and the children will be difficult, but it's only for a few cycles. Whoa. The pay is just too generous to pass up. I'll work hard here and be back to you and the girls soon. My brother <gasps> nice, will take dude. good care of you in the meantime. Love, Hank. <laughs> so basically, this Hank dude is all... He, at Jacob's Cove, which was previously nice looking, and such. Ooh, we got a glorious havoc. Um, this DLC, I guess, is okay for having 
getting some equips and shit. Mm. Fuck yeah. Basically for that excellent opportunity thing, we have to kill 25, uh, whatever, what they're called. Those things that attacked us before. Or something, yeah, at least get 25 eggs from them. Fuck yeah, that's good, I guess. Now this DLC has, uh, horror, um, horror, horror, um, references and such. Like, an enemy is such, we want to ta catch their attention because they're motherfuckers. Oh, fuck yeah. Until they're, until they're closer. Where the fuck are they? Yes, they attack you on, like, rack, but there's a uh, undead rack version here. Okay, just fucking swing your sword all fucking around. And sing the song. Oh, apparently they're blood wings. Maybe they're dead blood wings. <laughs> we have a blood wing also, so that's kind of funny a bit. Ah, fuck you! Goddamn motherfucker corpse eaters. We're about at 10 now, which is good. And there's a re echo recording, but that's like day 4, I think. Or something like that. We'll wait till later, because if I go, like, sequence breaking the echo recording, it kind of makes some sense. I accidentally did it for the Patricia Tannis Hidden Journal number 1. Fuck you, yeah, we're just murdering these things and getting 261 experience, which is pretty good actually. What should I talk about in this part? Eh. How annoyed these are these fuckers to you? Tell me a story of or tell me a story of Borderlands that happened. And if it's like a DLC, then you have to, and it's some like secret boss, then you have to put spoilers tags, give some good space because I don't want to spoil the game for everyone, except a tiny bit. But well, nothing that will cause seriously make DLC that DLC worthless to play. Although all of them I would play except two, but two is like very good and fun in my opinion. <sighs> Still worthy of a Borderlands DLC. So yeah, Put, or what? Is, what console do you prefer in the new gen and old gen? Old gen is like so Nintendo or Sega, and new gen is Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo. I went over it in Super Mario Brothers part, 64 part that. I prefer the PS3, which is Sony, over Xbox and shit. I mean, the internet is not as good, but it's free? So what do you expect from in free internet? And you're even fucking lucky to have good internet. Dead Haven. Hmm. We'll be there shortly. But yeah, um, so next echo recording's over there. Yay, we're getting an amazing experience. I would immediately play this DLC, but like when you have it first available, or at least wait a bit, because the experience gain here is amazing. You could probably level at least four levels. It's that good. Mm. That's good. Longer, I guess, but not needed. I still prefer the Masher because it, this one does like 300-ish damage. It's that good. Wow, the echo recording's like all the way back here. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. Yep, I see it. Well, if you don't see it, then you must be blind as a bat. 
And here's the new enemy, torsos, basically the torsos of the zombies, but they're kind of hard to see because they're low on the ground. Hey, where, where did he get that hat? Oh my god. The trees are amazing. You wouldn't believe your eyes. I've never seen anything like them. Sometimes I feel sad to cut them down. But it will all be worth it if I can get back to you with the money required for us to have a fresh start. I'm dreaming about a nice homestead in the doll headland. Think on it. Missing you, Hank. P.S. Tell Sally that I love the hat she sent. I wear it every day. The men tease me a bit, but they don't know the joy that a child's love can bring. Oh, so that's where he got his hat from. I actually kind of like that hat. Make fun of me, burn me to the ground, but I love that hat. It's a pretty good, cool hat. I mean, it looks like pancakes and shit. It's awesome. Okay. So today I fought Cromerax once, and I got, a, you'll never believe it, another powerful sc Skull Master. I mean, it's like 312 by 7, what, um, I think it's Dearest Anna, eight. I, I've been noticing some strange things at the mill of late. Many workers seem to be falling very ill. What is strange is that we all had our checkups just last week and were given a clean bill of health and a vitamin from the company's physician, Dr. Ned. He's doing everything in his power to really? prevent some death. Do not worry. I will, as always, be careful. I'll send an echo again soon. All my love. Hey. Hmm, weird. Oh, the next recorder's in town, it looks like. Wow, we're almost level 27, which is good, I guess. I don't know why I'm picking up brains, okay? I'll be, like I said, I'll be doing the zombie brain missions off screen. The quantities of the last one is like 250, which is insane. One of them's 100, I think. 50, eh, 50's not bad. Take a bit, but you could do it. Hey, there's, no, that's not the echo recording. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm always thinking of that funny ass recording. And I always want to sing it also. I lost my contact lens. Oh, there's the recording. Anna, things have gone from bad to worse. There what? Been rumors of people seeing the dead walk. At first, these tales were laughed off at the saloon, but... But now people talk in the hut. <laughs> they say that those who come in contact with the dead are always the first to be ill and... Huh? Are as such, the first to seek the help of Dr. Ned. The doctor assures me that he's making progress on a cure. I, for one, believe him, and it is only three more weeks till we are reunited. Kiss the girls for me. Love, Hank. Okay. So, basically, Dr. Ned is trying to make a cure to, to prevent the zombies' um, infection. And yes, these are zombies that they were talking about. So, basically... They have to survive, so Hank has to survive long enough in order to see Dr. Ned create an antidote. Well, that's not the story, but this is in the premise. So, yeah, and then he'll be the test subject of it. And last one. Anna. It is no longer rumors. Some curse has been set upon us here at Jacob's Cove. The dead are rising from their graves and are ravenous with a hunger for flesh. All work has stopped, and we're fighting for our lives. Hmm. But, fear not. Dr. Ned believes there's a way to stop the horror. I have volunteered to allow him to put an antidote on me. <laughs> it's the skags, my dear. The filthy skags will be our salvation. What the fuck? Well, shit. Beloved Anna, eh. it is no longer rumors. Some curse has been set upon us here at Jacob's Cove. 
The dead are rising from their graves and are ravenous with a hunger for flesh. All work has stopped, and we're fighting for our lives. But fear not. Dr. Ned believes there's a way to stop the horror. I have volunteered to allow him to test an antidote on me. <laughs> it's the Skags, my dear. The filthy Skags will be our salvation. <gasps> the doctor says they're immune to the ailment. I'm presently on my way to get this treatment at the hospital outside of town. I know, I know it will be a success, and we will be together again shortly. <gasps> Pray for me. Hank. Oh, and we'll never find out what happened to him till later. So now let's enter Hallow's End. Now here's where you get that brains missions chain. And trust me, it's fucking nuisance as hell. Of course, Phoenix skill is great for burning cows to zombies. The Phoenix skill fucking owns. So yeah, we discovered the outpost Ned Swamp. And also with the DLC, there's only one new use station throughout it. Choose Dr. Ned before you're undead. Okay, cool. Now let's see if there's anything worthwhile. No. Nope. So let's sell all these shit we got. And let's do the pumpkin head mission. Then we're going to do the house of Ned. And after I'm done this DLC, I'll be doing those Rest Common West missions. So don't worry, you guys. I won't be doing them off screen because, well, they're important, I guess, to see. So basically, same strategy as before just mindlessly killing zombies to get to this, uh,. Corpse thing. Burn. Ah, uh, it's not bad, I guess. Hey, sweet. Basically, the zombies with the top hats or whatever, hardworking hats, are ones that have immunization to the headshots for a while. And here's a psycho zombie. Oh, I killed one earlier. Basically, if you do not attack them for a while, then they will get more aggressive and deal more damage. So you want to take care of them right away after the filers because it will help a lot. Yeah. Boom. I don't know if you want to kill them first or not. Fuck yeah. Uh, I, I love this uh, HP regen I have. I mean, it's not going to be as awesome as level 34, but it's up there. And 8 more levels to 34, then I get my cl awesome class mod. And then I get 6 more levels after that of getting a, a skull masher that my siren has. Which is like 1,000... 200 damage. It's my old one that I used on my siren. Skull mashers are basically awesome weapons that if you deal critical damage, it does like way more. It's awesome. I personally recommend having one for at least a hunter. Boom. I just pwned these. Well, I don't know if there's any weapon SDUs available at this point. And now for these suicide zombies, if you shoot their legs, then, um, well, they, they blow up and shit. Kinda interesting, never knew that when I was first playing my Siren, but that was the first time I was playing the DLC. Um, yeah. You will stay, we want to stay away from them because they deal a lot of damage. Shoot the fucking legs. Fuck yeah. Holy shit, we're gonna die anyways, but holy shit, let's see how far we get. Fuck you, Defiler. Wow, we escaped, escaped death out again. That 
proves how awesome Sniper is. With a revolver. Mashers including. And I found out what the blister is. It's also a reference. I forgot the reference though. Uh, it does. It has good weapon zoom and it's of course corrosive. So, yeah. Just had to show it there. I still prefer this revolver though because it's amazing. And also on my siren, this is the first place I got my first double anarchy. Well, the place that I got my first uh, double anarchy. You'll never want to use static against zombies because static is piss, uh, shitty ass fucking element for a hunter. Only it's available for good usage for some enemies. And apparently, Gromorax is weak to shock weapons, although he's he can only be destroyed by attacking his critical points, which I'm not going to show. I will in a bonus video, but not in right now because, well, that's part of DLC 3, and DLC 3 is not for a while. Plus, this, uh, maybe I won't record some Cromrax because Cromrax is fucking nuisance without a meat shield. You'll have to be perfect. Oh, I wish I can't. Fuck yeah, we got it. 195 experience. Oh, we're almost leveled also. Sweet. Come on. Psychos kill. 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 Boom. Wow. I just demolished these. And midget zombies. Uh, basically zombies that are... Basically the counterpart of midgets. In, midget psychos in Borderlands. Oh, there's a white chest. You know what? I'll loot it. Why not? I mean, it's not going to be good, but... Treasure is treasure, and it's good money, I guess. We got a shredder, and... Wow! Holy crap, I got a good sniper, I guess. Let's look at the stats of that sniper. Wow, that's amazing! And it's only level 24, sweet! And it does like twice as much damage, I guess. <laughs> hey guys, would you like to see some Minecraft videos from me? I mean, I have the game. Um, if you guys don't know not, do not know what Minecraft is, it's a... Uh, basically, it's kind of like a virtual video game, I guess. <coughs> of awesomeness okay good anyways it's basically a farm and it's such it's a very good game and would you also guys like to see some harvest moon videos on the GBA GBA game because I also like harvest moon I love being in the minds of that game where the hell do I g oh yeah we have to go there fuck we just had to go south a bit more it's been a while since I've been in this DLC a bit. Okay. Fucking lag. Do not know what the hell the lag is doing, but it's like a LSD strobe effect. Which is unwanted and unpopular. Probably he's like, get some action on, motherfucker. What the fuck? Oh yeah, these guys jump. Oh sweet, we got a sniper. I actually love this game, by the way. But all DLCs. Probably in my top 10 favorite games. Probably about 9. <sighs> hmm. And you know what I hate? Uh, people who just do like video responses to other video, um, vid LP, famous LPs videos, and that are LPs, okay? 
video responses were for, meant for something else, I think. Not just so you could populate your LP. I mean, yeah, it works, and you want to do it, but... I... You guys just, like, abuse it. I don't do it. I just advertise on forums of games, of the games that I'll be LPing, and say, hey, would you guys want to see my LP? If you do, then just go to this link, and if you have any suggestions, then I'll accept them. And that's it. They're not popular, but they're it's kind of a neat way of like getting the viewers to watch like how like get involved so I can improve better and the viewers will like my LPs more and and they'll be coming back often and giving more like having fun and such. So I kind of like it that way. Oh my fucking god. Boom. As you see, it went all berserk and crap. Wow, where I'm getting low on revolver ammo because I love using the revolver. Wow, oh, fuck. Okay, sweet, we got a double fury gun. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I want to level at least. Oh, you just had to butt rape me, okay? Interesting. You will start to soon hate the rip um, these uh, defilers because they're they'll get on your nerves. Trust me. If you did, if they don't, then you must be um, fast enough to kill them. You fucking serious? I killed them right when I died. That should count, I guess, but it shouldn't, I guess. As well, how the fuck do I get into town I, again? It's been a while. You know what? Let's do this quest, the House of the Ned, and then we're going to do that quest. Also, you you can do that um with T and Y if you're playing the PC version. And remember, this is the PC version, so I do not know what the controls are on Xbox 360 unless I play with the Xbox 360 controller. And if you don't like the PC version, then I would say get the hell out, because I think the PS PC version of this game is the best version. You fucking serious. You wow. Yeah, motherfuckers. Oh, fuck. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, these uh, suicide zombies will come often. Oh my god, we're like almost leveled and it's not giving me the level that I want. And here's some weapon ammo box if you see need it. I'm gonna need some revolver ammo because I love using revolver like I said. Probably my favorite weapon in the game, then SMGs, and then snipers and such. The combat rifles, rockets are my one of my least, but I like ro rockets still. We got an okay shotgun. I tend to go with more elemental based weapons in the game. Why the hell? Oh my god! Be prepared for a lot of zombie action in this game. Not that's not what I meant. Okay, I meant that, like, there's will be a lot of zombies here. No, uh, not talking to those sick minded people saying, oh, oh, fuck, a nag popped up. It always does that sometimes. It just does it. Shut up. Okay, that's annoying as hell. I hate ads. Okay, on TV they're alright, but if it's like Justin Bieber ads, then I'm fucking laughing my ass off because I think that is the best ad ever being Justin Bieber having sits, that's awesome. <laughs> Shows how ugly he is. 
Sweet. You made it all the way yep. alive. I did. I I'll get the lift down, but it'll probably take a bit to hand what? crank the bastard all the way to you. Probably want to shoot any of those skull munchers that trottle in. Okay. So basically, it'll go down, and you have to vent them, um, survive. And remember, this is the dude that made the zombies, so you gotta be careful. Yay, we're level 27. Hang on, man. Going as fast as these what? old hands want to go. Okay, so now let's upgrade deadly, because more critical damage is going to be helpful later on, I guess. I mean, it's not the best thing ever in the world, but it's good to have, I guess. Oh my god, where the hell are they coming from? Oh yeah, they're just popping out and shit. Ooh, we get... Oh my god, we got a rocket launcher that's incendiary, so... Yeah, sorry if I pronounce it weird, but... Like you've never I'm not used to seeing incident Holy fuck, this is awesome. Not as awesome as like a siren with Phoenix and, and fucking destruction all over. Wait, I think this is a Helix type. Nope, just a single one. Rockets are fun, I guess, to play with. Especially elementals, because I fucking love elemental ones. Almost. I'm getting there. Keep your shirt on. Uh fuck, not another fucking ad. Okay, I know you want oh, me. Son of a bitch, I dropped the dump waiter. My hand just let go. I'll get you a hang on. You better push your fucking ass. I mean it's taking for fucking ever. Oh my god. Fuck yeah, we got it. More rat. I need to survive, man. Well, that's a good sniper, I guess. Not the best deal I'll ever see, but it's a good one. Well, if I can get this thing down there to you, there's a good chance you'll make it out alive. No shit, Sherlock. Oh, motherfucker! Oh, fuck yeah! Got it. Oh shit, it's almost there! Oh, fuck. Yes, 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 yes! Fancy and waste my time. Get on the damn thing. Hurry up, you piece of shit! Yeah, we did it! Yes. Oh. My god, that was intense. Whew, that was fun though. Well, let's go in here and you'll witness a cutscene. I probably went about this all the wrong way. I'm a doctor. I make people better. I just wanted everyone to be okay. I made the zombies. I was never as good as my totally not made up brother Zed, and we're totally different people. Oh, I need a drink. Dr. Ned, I'm helping! <laughs> yeah, so he's. Can you kill me some zombie bastards? He failed. That's what I'm dealing. Hmm, nice class mod, I guess. I'll still, I still love this one. Healing shields are worthless now. You know what? Oh, I'm gonna sell that. Yay, let's sell all these because I can. Most of it was from frickin' weapons. Yay. And let's return this quest, House of the Dead. I'm guessing in reference to House of the Dead or something well, like that. If you want to help a decrepit old man who created an end of the world epidemic, you'll have to head to the old hospital past the graveyard near okay. Jacob's Cove. You'll need to find a sample of an antidote I was working on. I based it on skag DNA since they don't seem to have undead tendencies. 
get the sample and bring it to my claptrap in town. Oh, oh yeah. Almost forgot. The gate key to the hospital grounds was lost a long Damn time it. ago. But there is a more spooky way in. Oh. Just look for the old gravestone on the beach Why? that doesn't belong. Well, get to it. Zombies aren't gonna cave in their own heads. <laughs> okay. Um, so now let's head back down. And let's actually complete that pumpkin head mission. Hopefully. We're gonna have to wait a bit. And then there's some zombies down there. Great. Ooh, that was lucky, I guess. Now you could just run, I guess. That's what I'm gonna do after I kill this defiler and complete the pathway to my safety. And run! But yeah. Fish sniper, I guess it's okay. Use it if you want, if you need some any damage. I SNS uh, munitions is a good brand for ma ammunition, of course, because munitions in, munitions is in their title. And yeah. Now here's a red chest. Sweet. And before we do that, let's put on our scavenger class mod because I love cl scavenger class mods. And we get a substandard and a that catalyst and now let's equip back this and then you could get some grenades okay so let's go this way then this instead because I think it'll work yeah this DLC short by DLC standards only takes like a couple hours just to do it about one to three. The LC three is the longest of the three DLCs, of course. Has like forty new missions in it. Yeah. Although the storyline's a bit short, I guess, but it's still good. Bit laggy, but you know, should survive through it hopefully. And I wanna at least get to secret mission secret. Let's get up here. Oh, yeah, this is the way there. Durr. And we have to go through this creepy as if thing. Just to run through, and holy shit, a lot of zombies. If you had phase walk here, then it would be amazing to have. Boom. Yeah, sweet. I love this revolver, okay? I'm going to tell that I'm going to hate those a lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just killed that. It was awesome. So, yeah. I'll be still doing the cutting out the loading transitions on my normal Borderlands LP, but it will not be as common as some in the original game. Stay away from me, piece of shit, Defiler. Yeah. One day I'll make a video how I'm um, showing how I make my LPs. Because, well, I feel like I should show how. And don't be a greedy ass fucking bastard. And I hope this is. Okay, good. So yeah, we're at Hallow's End, this town, if you could consider it that. Pretty deserted, of course. So let's do this mission. Hey, sweet Marcus, I hope I can trust you, and not your fucking clone like Dr. Ned has. Oh fuck, a suicide bomber. Oh my god, seriously. Yeah. So I basically kill the fucking shit out of these zombies, which I do. Good thing too, because they'll be annoying me later or soon enough. 
I do not know when they'll start to murder me a million times. <laughs> Lethal weapon. Oh, there is, uh, this. Fuck you, ad. Okay? I'm sick of your ads. And then let's get the grenade one, and we still have some money, although it's not a lot, but... By the end of DLC 3, we'll be filthy rich. It's... It'll be unbelievable. And we made most of our money back. Sweet. Yeah. Okay, so... Actually, before we do that quest, we're gonna go over here... And let's go over this place first. Because I wanna meet a character that... That does that brains mission side quest. And I know there will be a cutscene there because that's all I remember and shit. Oh, suicide zombie, of course. Hey! <gasps> oh my god, TK's leg for the living impaired. <laughs> just scary music, then it's just the leg falls over. You have a heart attack, you die. Yes, TK is in this game as a zombie. Although he's an ally zombie, kinda. He won't attack you, he's passive. Brains. <laughs> yeah, it basically talks about brains. And you have to get 10 brains, and that's lengthy side quest. It gets up to 250, which is the last one, hopefully. And, uh, like I said, I'll be doing these off-screen. And after you complete those brains missions, he just basically drops, like, uh, uh, class mod, or weapons. Uh, it's pretty cool, actually. We're gonna get some brains. Human brains. Haha. <laughs> Now let's actually do that one mission again, the pumpkin head. Now, to get there, it's over there. So here it is. Pumpkin head. I wish there was a Nightmare, uh, nightmare Before Christmas uh, spoof in here. I mean, there kind of is, like, the pumpkin head, I guess you could consider. Not really. I mean, Pumpkin King is Jack Skellington, but... Yeah. And here is Pumpkinhead, an optional side boss. The earliest side boss you can fight. Fucking easy as hell, kinda. I don't. Yeah, I took down half his health already. It's. Does not easily get damaged by fire, because he breathes the fire. Ow, that fucking move it, uh, rapes you hard. And he's dead already. And then, yeah. And the person who gave us the mission was Patricia Tannis, I think, yeah. Patricia Tannis, yeah. I just call him Bob. So, yeah. Well, time to return to the place that the... Bounty fucking board! Goddamn fucking ad. And then, I guess after this, we'll all just stop the video because. Well, I don't want to complete this in one sitting because I can't. But, I also have to do other shit like have a shower and go to bed and such. Yeah. I can't stay up all night, but I do stay up late, I guess. 10.30 p.m., I wake up at 9.30, so that's about 12 hours-ish. Okay. Time to return there. And you gotta love this HP regen. 
amazing. ADL to 10. Yay, and you gotta love having a lot of brains. And we already completed that mission, but, um, I won't, I'll just not do, I'll do it off screen, I guess. I mean, this mission is, um, long and tedious, and it'll take, like, a whole part to just get all the fucking brains. And then I'll have to, like, reload, and fuck, I just screwed myself over. You know what, I'm gonna respawn. I hope I better not be at the fucking town. Okay, at least I'm outside the town. That's better, I guess. I just have to run, 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 run. You know what? I'm just gonna run. Ha. So, yes. Fuck you, um. Fucking. What, what was it called? I'm trying to fucking run away. Don't you see this? Dumb zombies. But what you expect, they're dead. Aha, you gotta love this. Bloodwing. I could just exit game and shit, but why even bother? You know what? I'm going to do that, so I'll meet you guys at the bounty board. Okay. Yes. Uh. I knew that. Anyways, now we got a new mission. See lot. I do not know what that is right now. Well, I do know, but I'm just saying it, you know. Okay, that's okay, I guess. But yeah, and we get some awesome stuff. Now let me sell those, and then I'll just cut it off. Yes, they don't. Oh, fuck. I sold that a uh, good class mod I had. Oh, well. Well, this was Ruxus Rux 1002. This was also Borderlands Do Zombie Island of Dr. Ned Part 2. I'll see you guys, Dr. Uh, Borderlands, uh, Dr. I mean, Zombie Island of Dr. Ned, and we'll get probably about more further percent. And wow, that's pretty good. Almost that. Um, so, yep. Bye.